Looks like Fort Nightmares has finally returned. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Thunderbuddy29 here. And yep, I am back today with another video. And today we are going to be doing another Fort Nightmares review. But this time, we are going to review Fort Nightmares 2022. And what do I think of it? And today we are going to discuss about that a little bit. But before I begin, I just want to say I hope you enjoy these types of videos, and if you do end up enjoying this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and hit that little bell, and yes. So without further ado, now let's begin. So ever since Fort Nightmares 2022 came out a couple days ago, I've been getting this question a lot from my audience. What do I think of it? Honestly, I think it's both good and bad, once again, like what I said last year. Last year, I thought the Halloween event was actually pretty decent. I thought it was one of the best Halloween events Fortnite had done in a very long time. However, with Fort Nightmares 2022, I can't really say that because, first of all, it's almost the same as the event they had did last year. It's almost like a copy and pasted version of it. The only thing that really changed from last year was... They added in one boss and two mythics. Other than that, it's pretty much about the same. But also consider the fact that we are playing it on a different map, of course. But with the Halloween decorations and layout that they put all over the map this year, I will give them that, that they did do a good job on that. I do like it, and I do like how they did it. I'm also happy to see the pumpkin launcher return, as always. You almost can't have a Fortnite Halloween without it. And number two, you had Horde Rush return. You had it return for the second year in a row and for the third time ever in Fortnite's history. I still love this game mode for what it is. It has arguably got to be one of my most favorite limited time modes Fortnite has ever put into the game. Not my number one favorite, but it's one of my top favorites. Even though half the items in Loot Pool was completely different from last year's event, I still love this game mode for what it is. But the only thing that I do not like that they did to this game mode, or the only thing that I should say I'm very mid about, was how they made this game mode only zero builds. For some reason this year, they decided to not add building to this game mode at all and make it completely 100% zero builds. Now honestly, I'm kind of mixed about it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It just mainly depends which direction the storm goes in the match you play because, as you all know, it can pretty much go wherever the hell it wants. The only time it's ever bad is when the storm decides to go past and above a mountain or if you're stuck below in a valley. And you can't go up the mountain and because you have no builds, sometimes you have to go around the mountain through the storm while you're getting attacked by zombies on top of that. That's the only thing that is really frustrating about this game mode having no builds at all. Like in that clip you saw in the first three minutes of this video. That was just an example. The only time this game mode is actually really good without building. Is when you don't have to deal with any of those problems at all. That's the only thing that makes this game mode good without building. But whenever you have to deal with a problem like that. That's when you really need building. But because there is no building in this game mode at all, that is the reason why I'm very mixed about it. But other than that, I still love this game mode for what it is, but I'm ashamed that they did that. I think the only reason why they added zero builds to this is to try to make this game mode look completely different from last year's, while on the most part, it's still pretty much about the same. But overall, I still think on the most part, this was a good Halloween event. The main reason why I think it's bad is like what I just mentioned with the Zero Builds Horde Rush and the fact that they pretty much made this event almost exactly the same as last year's. Even though Four Nightmares last year was also both good and bad, I still thought it was one of the best Halloween events Fortnite had done in years. However, Four Nightmares 2022... I can't really say the same thing because, like I said, it's almost completely the same as it was last year. It's kind of like how Fortnite basically copy and pasted the summer event from 2019 back during this summer. But hey, at least this Halloween event is five times better than that. And to close this video, 
Even though I think this Halloween event was not as good as last year's because of it being about the same, it's still a whole lot better than Four Nightmares 2019 and 2020. But overall, I still love this Halloween event. But what do you guys think about Four Nightmares 2022? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed or if you agree with this video, please give this video a like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and click that little bell if you do not want to miss another video. And also, follow me on Twitter. I love you all to death and I appreciate all the support that you've been giving me. You are the best, as we are now closing in on 5,220 subscribers. I love you all to death and thank you all so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29, signing off.